Keeping track of all your passwords is quite a challenge without a password manager. Now, if you need to do that for your entire family, well, you'll need an unseen amount of luck for your accounts not to be compromised. So in today's one password family tutorial, I'm gonna give you an efficient solution to protect your entire family. Though 1Password pricing is not the lowest in the family password manager market, it still gives good value for your money. The fact that you can add up to five family members or friends as users on an unlimited amount of devices makes it well worth it. There are other 1Password password manager app benefits too. For example, it has more vault customization than any other provider that I've tested. But more on that later in this video. Now, if you want to save some quid on 1Password, I've got an exclusive discount in the description to make it even more affordable. All right, since you are familiar with the pricing, let's start the 1Password tutorial for beginner's part. There isn't much to touch on the downloading and installing part of it. It was a very straightforward process. After entering my email address, I got a six digit confirmation code and then just had to enter my payment info to finish things up. Okay, now what's left is to see how to use 1Password. After launching the app, I was met with a nicely designed and intuitive dashboard. Everything is well organized on the left side, whether it's features or my vaults, it's easy to find them. To add new data, there is a new item button. One password for families is not only for passwords, I can store any sensitive information I want to protect, including credit cards, bank or email accounts, secret notes, and whatever else you want. Besides, I can share the vaults I want with the family members that I choose. Every user or family member will have their login details and their items and vaults, which is kind of like a special folder where they can add their personal data too. And of course, you can add anything in there too if it's shared with you. It's the most convenient way to share information if you think about it. So, whenever you want to manage a shared vault, 1Password makes it quite simple. Let's say I want to share my streaming account info with my family. I simply need to right click on the item I want to share and press move. Our 1Password family list will then pop up, then I just click on the vault. Yep, it is that simple. This way, I won't get calls every time someone forgets our streaming account login details. It's much more convenient for everyone, right? With 1Password families, I can safely share information with non-1Password users as well. The sent information is encrypted so that only the intended recipient can read it. Oh, and by the way, of course it happens that when multiple people share information, stuff that shouldn't gets deleted or changed. Don't worry though, there is a feature that can restore previously deleted or altered versions of any item. We need to create new passwords all the time. For that, there's a password generator feature. It creates complex passwords with my chosen length and special characters and numbers. Such a password is of course gonna be difficult to remember, but don't worry about that. The app will remember it for you. And if you need a password that you should remember, there is a passphrase option, which allows you to generate a password containing several words. Since I'm admin, I can also customize who I allow to organize my one family password account. I can share full app access with someone. That way we can control how much roaming access other users get. If you want to only have one admin, that's okay. But having a backup can come in handy if you're not available. All right, so each family account is going to start off with two volts one that's private and one that's shared. The private vault is used for storing the personal information such as email logins, social media passwords, and anything you don't want others to see. The shared vault, on the other hand, can be seen by all family members and they can share passwords at any time. Let's say someone in my family wants to shop online. I'll drag my credit card info into his vault. After he's done shopping, I can remove the credit card info from his vault. Oh, maybe someone has forgotten our Wi-Fi password again. I'll just drag that password right into their vault and the problem is solved. It shouldn't be asked ever again, hopefully. I can customize and edit which of these members have access to all these vaults at any time. For example, remember the vault I made earlier to share our streaming account info? Well, I can add another user to that vault, even if it's just temporarily. To do that, click on the vault, then enter the email address of the person I want to add. After that, I can click on the permission button here and choose whether I want them to have viewing, editing, or managing access. This way, I can then also remove them from the vault later. Yeah, so overall, this family password manager has most control over the vaults than I've ever seen. I have total freedom who and what information others can see. 
Another thing that I like about this contender for the best family password manager is its browser extension. It was really easy to use, all the necessary features are there and the dashboard is super easy to navigate. However, its autofill feature needs some work. Sometimes I had to look for information in my vault manually, which is not ideal. It could take a note or two from NordPass. Other than that, even without watching a beginner's guide to one password, you should be able to navigate the extension with ease. Okay, that's not all in this one password family review. Next, let's see what additional features it provides. The parental control allows you to manage which information your children can see and for how long. Another additional security feature that I like is the Watchtower tool. This scans websites to see if they are trustworthy. Additionally, it also informs me if any of my passwords have been breached. It allows me to avoid further damage quickly as I can simply change the passwords ASAP. Not all the information is travel safe, but with 1Password's travel mode, I can mark which vaults are. Let's say I go to France for a few days. The vaults that are not travel safe will be locked meanwhile. Now, to make sure your vaults are even more secure, there's a secret key, which allows you to have a 34 character login code, which is sent to your device when you are logging in. Another option is to enable a two-factor authentication. For that, you'll need to download an authenticator at your device. Don't worry though, it's simple. Just go into your 1Password account and click on My Profile. After that, press More Actions and Manage Two-Factor Authentication. After scanning the barcode, you'll receive a six digit code, which you will need to enter to confirm it's really you that's logging in. I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but 1Password has a strict zero knowledge policy, meaning that nobody can access your stored information, not even 1Password staff members. In addition, there's one gig of storage, so you can store pictures or any other media too. By the way, if you like our content, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Go on, we have got plenty more up-to-date stuff on all things cybersecurity. So is this password manager for families actually worth your investment? I can say yes with confidence. The combination of its advanced security measures and easily customizable vaults makes it one of the best password manager options available. And if you are not sure, you can test it out with a free trial. However, I am sure that between the one password family versus premium pricing, you're gonna find a plan that fits your budget. Oh. I almost forgot to mention their hardworking customer support that is there for you, 24 seven. So if there's any trouble, or if I forget something in this 1Password family tutorial, you can contact them anytime. On that note, I remind you that with our exclusive 1Password discount, you can save quite a bit of money. So click on that link down there in the description. All right, to close this 1Password tutorial, I can say that a password manager with a family plan can save you from many headaches and protect sensitive information of your entire family with just one subscription. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon.